हाई एस वेलकम बैक टू फास्ट फॉर रिएक्शन और आज हम रिएक्शन देने वाले हैं बांग्लादेश के एक वीडियो के बारे में जिसका नाम है टेल इज अबाउट बांग्लादेश यानी दुनिया के लोग जो है ना बांग्लादेश के बारे में दस ये गलत इन्फॉर्मेशन सोचते हैं कि यार ये चीज़ें बांग्लादेश के अंदर होती है तो हम देखते हैं कि वो कौन सी दस चीज़ें हैं स्टार्ट करती उम्मीद है कि आपको वीडियो अच्छी लगी अच्छी लगती है तो लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब कर सकते Bangladesh is an amazing country with a great people and an eventful history. Eventful and over history the years many misconceptions and preconceived notions have formed about Bangladesh and we're continuing our series of videos exploring this country but this time I'll be shedding light on 10 of the biggest lies and misconceptions about the country of Bangladesh. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of FTG Facts. My name is Leroy Kenton and honestly much love to our viewers from Bangladesh. Well, you guys have been asking for more. So I'm excited to share this video with you guys because I also held some of these misconceptions. So it was really cool to actually clear them up for myself as well. So either way guys, let's jump into this starting at number 10. This lie is that Bangladeshi people speak Hindi. Now, this one is apparently big yeah. from Indians. The second most widely spoken language is English and the most spoken language is Bengali. However, as Hindi and Bengali are rooted from yeah, the God. same language family and Bollywood movies and TV shows are really really popular in Bangladesh, well of course that has influenced oh. Bangladeshi Bengali. people and whether they can speak Hindi or not well most of them can at least understand it lie number 9 is citizens are called bengalis well its citizens are actually called bangladeshi and this is regardless of gender distinction in the english language at least however the native people mm. to the region well, of bengal the the indo aryan ethnic group, group they can speak the bengali language but it's called bangla in bengali they are known as bengalis but if you're a citizen of bangladesh the correct term is bangladeshi moving on to number 8 bangladesh is part of india oh no 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 although the entire western no. portion and northern portion and most of the eastern part of bangladesh is kind of surrounded by india it is not part of india india is its neighbor moving on to lie at number 7 bangladesh is dangerous for visitors well let's take a look guys according to the global peace index ranking of 2020 which is the most up to date ranking they have at the time of filming this episode Bangladesh actually ranks 98 out of 161 ranked countries in terms of peace. Mm. This is much higher than the United States for instance mm. who ranks 117 out of 161 countries. So according to this scale people are generally safer in Bangladesh than they would be in the United States anyways. Now the line number 6 you know surprisingly yeah, many people well actually think this Bangladesh is, is an island. But you know just good, even looking good. at the term Bangladesh the word Bangladesh refers to the land or country of Bengal. and nothing about it explicitly says it's an island so i don't necessarily know where this misconception came from but yeah it's still one that exists mm, and i had to include it like in this list I, 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 now halfway in number 5 we have the weather is always great and beautiful in bangladesh yeah let's talk about this is a very popular perception especially from those of western countries but the people of bangladesh will tell you that due to its weather there are some natural disasters that you might want to watch out for for example each year bangladesh faces mm. different sorts of calamities and natural disasters like flooding cyclones as well as droughts these are all pretty common now it's people especially the rural people mm. Unfortunately, because they suffer the most because, because, because they just lack some of the resources to actually fight against these natural disasters. disasters. We've got now to number 4, Bangladesh is a dry country. Well, yeah, it's a hot country for sure, but definitely far from dry. This is also another western perception. The warmest months coincide with the rainy season which is between April to September, while the winter season, December to February, they're colder and drier. but Bangladesh is a very wet country and it receives an average of 2200 mm of rainfall per year. They also have a lot of canals and rivers located in the country. Ooh. The lie at number 3, famine is common in Bangladesh. So there was a point in history after independence where Bangladesh faced famine. a famine, but this happened only once. This is back in the year 1974. 
Now, this was a period of mass starvation when approximately 27,000 people lost their lives. And this is according to government estimates. But that's really the only time that famine has struck the country of Bangladesh. Bangladesh is a Hindu country. This is a lie at number two. Well, you see, when we look at the figures, Bangladesh, well, the majority of them identify as Muslim, 89.1%, while the second largest religious group is Hinduism, which is roughly 10%. And about 0.9% of the population identifies as other religions, including Buddhism and Christianity. So no, it is not a Hindu country. Now we end off this episode with a lie at number one, West Bengal is in Bangladesh. When those living outside of Bangladesh, they hear the term West Bengal, it's commonly assumed to be in reference to the western part of Bangladesh. However, this is not the case. West Bengal is actually a state in eastern India, again, India between the Himalayas and the Bay of Bengal. India. Its capital city is Kolkata, okay, and some of this South confusion, confusion okay. actually does come from Bengal the time of the partition of India. India. The Hindu majority West Bengal became a state of India at that time and simultaneously the Muslim majority East Bengal which is now known as Bangladesh became a province of Pakistan in the year 1947. Then the proclamation of West Bangladeshi Mano. independence in March of 1971 led to East Pakistan becoming the People's Republic of Bangladesh. So yeah, hope that clarifies all the confusion about these. Thanks for hanging out with me in another episode here on FTD Facts. We just looked at 10 of the biggest lies about Bangladesh. Be sure to leave your comments down below lies. about anything mentioned in this video. And also before you head out, leave a like. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified when new videos are posted. Until next time, guys, stay awesome, stay educated. I'll see you real soon. So, I think that you have seen this video and the misconception that was the biggest in my mind that this whole island was made on the country. At the start, I think it was a little bit ago, but it was a little bit ago, because there were floods. So, I think that this was a little island. But after that, when I notified the map in the right way, I think that there are a lot of rivers and some of them are also rivers. And there are many rivers that are also coming from the other side. And the other thing is that there are floods that are also coming from the other side. कि जो बारिशों का सिलसिला है वो स्टार्ट ही बांग्लादेश से होता है बांग्लादेश से आता है वो फिर इस तरह इंडिया की तरफ इंडिया से इंडियन कंटिन्यू पाकिस्तान फिर पाकिस्तान से आगे की तरफ जाते हैं मतलब उन बारिशों की वजह से ज्यादातर फ्लड्स आते हैं बांग्लादेश के अंदर और ये फ्लड्स आते हैं ज्यादातर अगर आप देखकर नोटिस नोटिफाई करेंगे जून से लेके सितंबर के मंथ में आते हैं और जून से लेके सितंबर के मंथ में जो जो मॉनसून की जो बारिशें होती वो काफी ज्यादा तादाद में होती मतलब काफी होती एक स्पेल पे दूसरा स्पेल पे तीसरा स्पेल हर 10 15 दिन के बाद स्टार्ट होता है तो इस चीज को भी आप नोटिफाई कर सकते हैं दूसरी मेन मिसकंसेप्शन लोगों के अंदर ये थी कि हिंदी बोलते हैं बांग्लादेश के अंदर बट ऐसा नहीं है सबसे पहले जो देखा जाए बंगाली लैंग्वेज या बंगाली लैंग्वेज है ज्यादातर हमारे साइड में ऐसा बोल जाए बंगाली लैंग्वेज बंगाली तो इस चीज को ज़्यादा नोटिफाई करें बाकी चीज़ें भी आप लोगों ने देखी होगी मुझे तो काफ़ी ग्रेट लगा ये वीडियो तो इसीलिए मैंने बोला आपके साथ शेयर करें ये टेन लाइज अबाउट बांग्लादेश अगर अच्छी लगती है लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब कर सकते हो